Okay, we are back once again, good day, uh, for another tutorial as a follow-up and update to the previous one on how to go ahead and sync GIF files with sound effects for yourself on your stream. So the last video had a few extra steps that were kind of unnecessary. Uh, we found a, I found a more effective way to go ahead and streamline the process just a little bit more to speed it up and get to the point overall so that way as many people as possible can have access to the process. So a little extra few tips mixed in as well. So first off, to get us started, of course, we are going to need the source file that we are going to work with, whether it be one that you've already downloaded on your computer or one that you need to go ahead and download. So I am going to go ahead and grab up my one that I have here. I'm going to grab this from a classic scene of The Office there. Marvelous show. Let's go ahead and download the clip real quick here. I'm using a free program called 4K Video Downloader, but you can use whatever website or program that you have at your disposal to go ahead and retrieve the video files that you want to use for your uh, setup. So now that I have downloaded that overall clip, I can go ahead and minimize this, minimize that. And for this overall, I, the clip is pretty much exactly the length that I want it to be, but uh, I will go ahead and get that imported into my video editing program. Your video editing program doesn't necessarily matter for the most part there. As long as you have something that can clip the edges of your video, um, that's all that really matters there for the most part. So I need to go ahead and go to my downloads here footage uh, downloads here we go so I'm gonna go ahead and open this in my video editing program here There you go, I just copied it to it. So whenever you are clipping down your video overall, you've got to make sure that if you edit the video that you have to make sure that the output is the exact same as the input. So if we look at the base properties for this video here, it's a 29.97 frame rate overall. So when you output the video after editing it, you have to make sure it follows that same frame rate, otherwise it may come out of sync in the, in the end. So I'm going to go ahead and check my sequence settings. Yeah, I need to change it down to 29.97. So there we go. Got that. Perfect. So let's go ahead and drag the video over here. Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Everybody stay calm! What's the Everybody procedure, everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay calm! So I'm going to go ahead and clip that out there. So that way we just have that first part. Okay. And I want to go ahead and expand up the video here. There oh my go. god! Okay, it's happening! Everybody stay calm! What's the Everybody procedure, calm. everyone? What's the procedure? Stay calm! Alright, there we go. So we have the video clipped to exactly what I want overall. And now I'm going to go ahead and export the video to my folder full of uh, other videos that are ready to be converted to GIFs. To save, to get the organization going, I usually have a folder just designated to just videos that are ready to be converted. So now that we have our source file here, we can go ahead and name this call, and we are going to go ahead and export the video. Boom. Okay. So now we have our source video ready to go. It is now in the folder labeled GIF setup right here. Where's call that? Oh, wrong folder.
All right, so now I'm going to export it to the correct folder. <laughs> I usually export it in the um, maximum depth and maximum quality at 1080p overall because I try to get the most quality out of my videos that I have. But you, mean, you can have it export in whatever quality you want as long as you have the main video um, clipped to what you want it and exactly the clip that you actually want yourself. So I'm go ahead and sort by date. Here it is. There's my source video. So now, instead of the old process of, you know, switching it to a GIF and then twi tweaking the uh, the speed and sync levels, here we're just going to do a simple process. We're going to go to easygift.com. Uh, I use this website to keep things simple across the board because they've got a simplified, they got a tool here that's very helpful, uh, video to GIF tool. So I'm going to go ahead and click the video to GIF tool here. And I'm going to go ahead and take the source video that I want to go ahead and utilize. Pop that in there. All I'm going to go ahead and do is upload the video. It's going to take a moment to convert it there. And output the video. Do not touch any of these settings here. Leave them exactly the same. Otherwise, you're going to mess up the sync uh, of the video to audio. So go ahead and convert to GIF. All right, and the GIF is ready to go ahead and save. Find a good area where you can keep track of your GIFs as well. It's good to have some organization, especially if you're going to be doing multiple setups for your GIF files and your source videos. Make sure you just have some organization and keep things nice and simple. I'm going to name this one Calm. Okay, so now we have our source GIF file. And then we are going to utilize this program called GIFBot here to go ahead and input the new GIF file. So this is where we're going to have the GIF source out of, and this is where it's going to play overall. This is the overall workspace that the GIF file actually plays upon. You're going to need to make sure that this window is open at all times, whether it be on your main screen or your secondary screen somewhere else because you can simply drag it over to a different screen and the process will still work just the same just make sure that it is open and you do not adjust the size of the screen if you have to change the size of this little window that pops up in the gif bot menu here you want to go ahead and select either the 1920 by 1080 or the 1280 by 720 Either one doesn't really matter because you can customize how it's laid out on your actual stream itself. So, yeah, the display itself doesn't really make a difference for the most part. Just make sure it's open somewhere. All right. Uh, so the GIF bot, you'll need that open to go ahead and set up your GIF. You're going to need your program that's going to be triggering the sound effect files. So I'm going to use my Streamlabs chat bot because that is where my sound effects are going to be triggered from. And then... I need to actually create my sound effects, so I'm going to take that source file that I created for myself that was set to convert into a GIF. Since I have it exactly clipped the way I want it to, all I'm going to do in here is make sure the audio is balanced and to go ahead and save the new file as an MP3, so that way it can output as an MP3, and then you'll have your GIF file for the GIF bot. So let's go ahead and get the source audio here. I'm going to go ahead and create a new file. You can use whatever audio editing program that you need to see fit as well. You don't have to use the top of the line stuff. As long as the program does the job, that's all that really matters. I was using the Adobe Office for Audition and Premiere to do video editing and audio editing. But as long as you can clip the video and audio editing, one of the ones come to mind is Audacity, which is a really good free program that you can utilize. That is another example of a program that you can use to edit just the same. As long as it does the job, that's all that matters. So all I'm going to do here is make sure that the audio is balanced because sometimes the audio is either loud or really quiet. So I got to make sure that's balanced. Oh my God! Okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. What's the Everybody procedure, calm. everyone? What's the procedure? Stay Go ahead and turn it down about. I'll turn it down about one point. I'll just do it. Three. Oh my God! Okay, it's happening. Everybody, stay calm. What's the first Yeah, I'm gonna turn it down three decibels. That should be good enough. That sounds good. 
So I'm going to go ahead and create my mp3 file here. I've already got a folder set up right here already to where I want it to save to, which is my sound effect file folder. So I'm going to go ahead and save calm. So now I have my sound effect ready to go. I've got my GIF file. I've got my sound effect. Now we need to go ahead and smack them together and get them to work in conjunction. So I'm going to go ahead and load up the Streamlabs chatbot here. Go ahead and create my sound file first. And you can either load the sound file into your like a website or chatbot separately from the GIF. Or what you could do is you could load it everything directly into GIF by itself. That's totally up to you. Either way works. You just got to make sure it only shows up once. Because you cannot double up on it. Otherwise, you'll get an echo of audio. Say like you have the sound effect here. And you also have it over here. So just pick one or the other. And then just keep it there. And when we create a command on both the chat bot here and the GIF bot over here on this end for displaying our GIFs, you can only use letters. You cannot use symbol, you cannot use numbers, you can't use anything else besides letters. Uh, I found out earlier on that if you use numbers, the command will not trigger. It might trigger the GIF, maybe, but the command will not set off. So keep everything simple and sweet. So I'm just going to name that column. And then I'm going to go ahead and go to my sound effect folder. Yeah, I'll make it like 50. Why not? The pricing doesn't matter. That's up to you on how much you want to charge for the sound effect. Some people use them for free. I use it as, you know, rack of points, use sound effects, yada yada. It works. It works for my system there. So I have the source file here. Input to trigger. So command call. Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Everybody stay calm! What's, What's the procedure, everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay calm! <laughs> so I've got that going on right there. And then I'm going to go ahead and go over to my GIF bot here. I'm going to load up the GIF manager, which that's what this is here. I'm going to go ahead and create the new command. Calm. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and select calm here. Select the GIF that I just created for that there. Boom. I'm going to make the cooldown zero outright, user cooldown five seconds. And the audio length, make sure that the duration matches as, pretty, as close as possible to the actual duration of the sound clip itself. So that way, you know, it's, it doesn't loop around over and over unnecessarily. So this clip is 6.2 seconds. So in milliseconds, that's 6,200. And then I'm going to go ahead and make sure the access is for followers and I'm gonna go ahead and place it on my screen here pop it right there you can edit the size using this little drag bar here which is good because I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller turn off and save so now we have the gif set up over here and then we have the sound effects set up over here. So now we get to see the magic work between the two. Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Everybody stay calm! What's the Everybody procedure, everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay calm! <laughs> uh, I love that clip. Okay, so we have the sound effect and GIF go off. Now you need to make sure that it displays for your viewers. Now, whether you're using this program here, or Streamlabs OBS, or you're using regular OBS, or you're using some other stream program overall, all you gotta make sure is that you capture the window that outputs the GIF itself. That's all you gotta do at this point here. I've already got a source set up, but I'm gonna show you how to do it, you know, starting out, so that way you know. So what you wanna do, say for OBS and Streamlabs OBS here, you wanna go ahead and open a new source. So you're gonna need to set up a window capture, 
I'm going to name this one Gift Bot 2. Test. Add source. And then I'm going to go ahead and select from the open programs the Gift Bot workspace itself. Boom. All right. So what's going to happen is you're going to get this green box that's on the screen here. Like I said, do not, I repeat, do not adjust the size of this window. Otherwise, it will mess things up and you have to start the program over again. You got to close it and reopen it. So you don't edit that size. What you do in order to make sure that this covers your whole screen, you just want to go ahead and cover the entire screen of your, of your output that your viewers would see for yourself. Just cover the whole screen. The whole kahuna. All right. So now it looks like, hey, yeah, you got a big old green blob in the way. How do we get rid of that? Well, we have to use a process called chroma key, which is absolutely super easy. All you got to do is go ahead and hit filters. This is the same process that people use for regular green screening for their cameras, except we're going to use this for a program. So we're going to go ahead and open the filter, scroll all the way down to chroma key. And by default, the main color is green. So when you chroma key on your source, it filters out whatever color you choose. So by default, green is the most common color and green is the one we want to filter out. And voila, the green screen has vanished from, this, from the output there. And then to show that the file is working and operable, we want to go ahead and test it out real quick. Oh my God, okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. What's the Everybody procedure, stay everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay calm. What? Voila, it is working. Ta-da! And uh, yeah, and that's basically it. That's that's basically the whole process right there. I've tried to speed up the process a little bit, make it easier, make it easier to understand, so that way you can churn out them sound effects and gifs. No problem. I sure as heck will uh, be adding a bunch more in the future myself. If any of you have any questions or concerns, you are more than free to either leave a comment below or reach out to me directly via Discord, which I answer the most often. Uh, there and uh, Discord is slotmag pro uh, hashtag symbol uh, 1100. Which, in order to add somebody on Discord, you just go here, not there, You can, just, you can just type in the username right there, for example. Either there, or you can do... For example, like that. So, that way you can get the username out there and you know, message me and whatnot to help out overall. But other than that, y'all have fun creating GIFs and uh, do enjoy yourselves. And have a good one. Adios.